Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Let me present you the results of the study model substantiation of economic behavior strategies in the context of increasing negative impact of environmental factors in the context of sustainable development. The most progressive concept today is the triple concept of sustainable development. We agree that sustainable development involves meeting the needs of the subject in the current cycle without harm to meet the needs in the next cycle. Within the framework of this concept, an important factor in the effective solution of environmental problems is the development of environmental awareness in the process of performing by economic entities of their main functions, the use of appropriate forms of economic behavior. The purpose of the study is to substantiate the formation of strategies for economic behavior as a response to the deterioration of environmental performance. To achieve this goal, it is necessary to complete the following tasks. Build a model for adapting an economic entity to changes in the state of the ecological environment. Conduct model experiments to identify cause and effect relationships between the motives for the formation of a strategy of economic behavior, its form, and results. The institutional economy is characterized by such a type of management as self-organization and a synergistic approach to management. The main goal of the functioning of the economic entity in this case is equilibrium. At the same time, the motives of economic behavior are determined by the level of satisfaction of the economic subject, which depends on social, cognitive, or emotional factors. In this case, the equilibrium is ensured by the implementation of the law which is called the law of conservation of motivation. Note that the proposed model is built in the space of states, which in the spherical coordinate system are described by the quantitative coordinate, qualitative coordinate, innovation coordinate. It can be seen from the equation that motivation depends on quantitative and qualitative changes in the state of the economic entity. The motivation conservation law is proposed on the basis of the phenomenological assumption about the isomorphic relationship between the processes of production, consumption in the economy and emission absorption in continuum mechanics. It can be represented in the form of a differential equation in partial derivatives, in which the flow function in its meaning coincides with the concept of economic action, as a reaction of a microeconomic subject to its economic state, the coefficient C0 will be called the innovation coefficient, if the innovation coefficient is equal to zero. Then the equation is simplified. Some of the solutions to the last equation have been proposed as models of constructs, combinations of which can be used to build models of economic behavior. But the authors of this article believe that the image of these components of sustainable development in the form of concentric circles is more accurate. The environment is represented by the outer circle, since it is of paramount importance. Secondary is society. The economic component is located within this structure, the existence of which is associated with strong sustainability. It should be noted that the environment in this case is not only a supporting component, but also a limiting one. That is, socio-economic development, which is provided by environmental resources, is limited by the objective capacity of the environment. The object of the model experiment is households, which are social phenomena and one of the most important subjects of economic activity with clearly defined relations of production, distribution, 
exchange, and consumption. The interaction model of an economic entity satisfied with the level of its state and a limiting external influence is represented by a linear combination of the economic dipole flow function and the external influence flow function. The purpose and result of such interaction is to establish a balance corresponding to the sustainable development of the system as a whole. The inner region which is formed by the flow of the economic dipole, will be called the region of stability. Its size is difficult to give a clear qualitative and quantitative characteristic. Consider a situation where the negative impact of environmental factors increases. The most trivial in this case is the passive strategy, which is characterized by the fact that the moment of the economic dipole remains unchanged. With such a strategy of economic behavior, it is obvious that the greater the external influence, the smaller the size of the zone of stability, the fewer opportunities. So, if environmental indicators deteriorate by two times relative to the initial value, then the available opportunities will decrease by 37%, but the attitude towards such changes will remain neutral. The natural consequences of such economic behavior is the gradual depletion of available resources. In an effort to maintain the amount of available resources, the reactive strategy for adapting an economic entity to the deterioration of environmental factors provides for a change in the structure of consumption. In the framework of the proposed model, this means that in the face of increased negative external influence, the balanced state in the form of an economic dipole is being transformed keeping equal absolute values of the intensities of the economic source and economic sink, their relative position in the state space is corrected. This reflects the behavior of an economic entity aimed at compensating for the deterioration of environmental factors, obviously, as a result of a change in the habitual structure of consumption in the direction of a deterioration in its quality level, the topology of the zone of stability will also change. It will take the form of an ellipse. It has been established that when the negative influence of external factors doubles relative to the initial one, Satisfaction with the consumption structure decreases by almost 16%. The quantitative indicator of the overall satisfaction of the economic entity with its condition after the application of the described reactive strategy also decreases. An active form of economic behavior in the face of an increase in the negative impact of external factors involves actions aimed at eliminating the consequences of such an impact while maintaining overall resources and the level of satisfaction. Such economic behavior ensures the sustainable development of the system as a whole. This economic behavior implies active participation in reducing environmental degradation. For households, this implies direct participation in the use and promotion of technologies for individual use, such as home wastewater treatment plants, household biogas systems, and others. Thus, the most effective is the active economic behavior of responding to the deterioration of environmental factors. Thank you for attention.